What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to move your save games from Power World on the Xbox Game Pass, included with Game Pass, as you can see here, to the Steam version of the game so you can keep your progress should you choose to buy the full game on Steam. Just to give you a quick idea of where I am, I'll play, and in here you can see my save game here, Player976. What we'll do is migrate the save file from the Xbox Game Pass version of Power World to the Steam version of Power World. It's super simple. Unfortunately, you will need to download a piece of software. It is completely free, however, and you'll find it linked down below. The Xbox Game Pass save extractor is used for multiple games and including Power World. So simply head across to the releases section on the far right and choose the latest version here. Then simply expand assets if it's not already expanded and download the exe at the very top. We'll save it and what we want to do is move it to a separate folder if your downloads folder is really crowded. So there we go. Now all we need to do is double click it to run it and if you get prompted go more info followed by run anyway then you'll see a window opens up and tells you that it's copying save games for all of your different games that you have on the Xbox Game Pass on your PC. For me it's Power World and it's copying files for this user, these ones over here. We can close it and you can see a zip file over here. Opening the zip file with any zip editor or explorer, inside of here you'll find all of your different saved worlds. It's a bit difficult to tell them apart but if you have only just one then it's going to be very easy for you. Inside of these folders you'll find your world save data, player save data etc. What we need to do is overwrite an existing save on Steam. So if you haven't already created a throwaway world in Power World, we'll simply need to find Fire it up, start game, create new world, call it whatever, confirm and simply jump straight into it. We'll confirm and create with whatever we have currently, skip the intro and now we can simply escape, return to title, yes and close the game. Alright, now we've generated a throwaway world, we'll be replacing that save game with this one over here which has progress etc. So what we need to do now is hold start which is the flag key on your keyboard and press R at the same time to bring up the run dialog. Inside of here we'll type in percentage, local app data, percentage and hit enter. In here we'll click anywhere and type in PAL to jump straight down to PAL. Open this, followed by saved and then save games. In here you'll see your Steam ID or all of the Steam IDs for all of the Steam accounts you play the game on, more than likely there'll be just one folder. Open this and inside of here we'll sort by date modified to find our throwaway world which should be the last one that was modified which is this one here. It should also be the smallest as it's got no backups, no information, nothing. Okay, so now that we know our throwaway world we just created is here, we'll open it and what we'll do is simply drag all of the files out of our zip into this folder here, replacing them and just like that we've now moved our save game from the Xbox Game Pass version to Steam. So start game, now we see player 976 here which is the one that we had previously, we'll start game and as soon as we load in we'll have all of our progress from this save game. I didn't play much on the Xbox Game Pass version so there's not really much progress but you can see it changed the name and we should be in a different location with all of our items and progress. I didn't do anything other than run out here so this is where I am but anyways you get the point. We've now successfully migrated a save from the Xbox Game Pass version to Steam. If you find that any of your items are missing from your inventory what you should do is load into the Xbox Game Pass version, put all of your items in chests and boxes, then quit and do the simple migration once more. That way you should have everything left behind where you left it even if your character doesn't want to transfer across properly but it should. So anyways hopefully you found this video useful, thank you for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time, ciao!